On the uh, previous tutorial uh, about the pH scale, we had a neutral solution of being a pH 7, uh, and that would suggest that if you have water, then it's, its pH would be 7, which is true, that's what it is. But what that suggests is that um, water contains some H+, which might seem slightly strange. So that's what we're going to investigate today. So uh, does water contain H plus ions? Then we need to define Kw, an equilibrium constant for water, and then we need a numerical value of Kw and pKw uh, in the same way that we had the H plus and the pH for uh, the pH scale. So a little bit more mathematical, uh, but conceptually quite straightforward. So let's get going. Does water contain any H plus? Yes, but not much. So if we have water molecules, occasionally uh, they will break apart into H plus and OH minus ions because there is heat around, because the water molecules are moving around, bumping into each other, and every now and then by a random collision, uh, one of them will break apart. Now this is actually quite a uh, predictable effect and at uh, uh, room temperature, then the concentration of the H plus ions is 10 to the minus seven moles per decimeter cubed. Uh, well, we can immediately say, therefore, that the pH will be 7, because we know to get from the H plus concentration to pH, you just need to look at that indices of uh, 10 to the minus there. Fine. So we can, therefore, uh, denote Kw as being an equilibrium constant for the extent to which this occurs. Define Kw as the H plus concentration multiplied by the OH minus concentration. We know that the H plus concentration is 10 to the minus 7 moles per decimeter cubed. The concentration of the OH minus will be the same because if you break apart a water molecule, you'll get the same number of H plus and OH minuses. So therefore, this value of Kw is going to be 10 to the minus 7 times 10 to the minus 7, which is 10 to the minus 14. Uh, strictly speaking, the units would be moles squared dm to the minus 6, just because I've got that unit uh, times itself. Now, I can work out pKw by doing minus log of Kw, uh, so that would be minus log of 10 to the minus 14, which gives uh, a value of 14, and that is true at 298 degrees Kelvin. So you might be wondering why we've done all the maths on this. Let me give you a few reasons. First of all, we want to actually be able to quantify the extent to which this reaction occurs. And uh, by having this value of Kw, we actually know how much of these ions are produced. Secondly, we can then use these values in due course when working out the pH of bases. And thirdly, this pKw, just to show that p is used more widely than just in pH, uh, it means exactly the same, minus log, and it takes 10 to the minus 14 and turns it into 14. But it is used more widely and makes the numbers a little bit easier to get a grasp on. So that's it for our discussion of uh, water. Next, we'll go on to acids.